Welcome back. We have found uh, Sirius's current sleeping site. And one thing we find here is the answer to the question of who Atrus was playing chess with. It was Sirius. Father, you totally had me. And now you're leaving your queen wide open? Getting the narrow chess pieces out of you was more of a challenge than this. Okay. It seems that uh, Cyrus, in fact, isn't seeing the trap that Atreus set for him. As we saw in the memory of the chessboard uh, in... Uh, to mana. But what's perhaps more interesting is that Sirius says that these chess pieces are made of Nera. That's a bit uh, strange. Nera is a type of dunny stone. In fact, it's the hardest stone they use. And it's... Uh, it's supposed to be much stronger than steel and everything. It's, it's really amazingly strong. So why would he need chess pieces made out of such a hard material? Even stranger is that some of the pieces don't appear to be uh, from the same set. As you can see that uh, these pieces, this knight over here, and uh, I guess this is a queen, I'm not sure. This is a rook, maybe? I'm just, <laughs> just guessing they're a bit hard uh, to uh, identify because they're so crudely carved. They clearly aren't part of the same set. It seems that uh, some of the narrow chess pieces are missing, and these are ones that Cyrus made himself. He can't have made the Nera um, chess pieces himself, and in fact the memory does say that he tried to get them from Atrus. Why would he want them? It's an interesting question to ponder. I guess uh, Sirius did bring the sheets and the pillow with him when he came here. I guess that's... Uh, Pretty believable. I mean, it's some of the stuff that I would take with me when I went to uh, the New Age for an uh, unknown length of time. And he has a makeshift uh, pool of water. Which I guess uh, he uses if he wants a drink during the night. And there's another piece of paper on the floor here. Let's see, what what does this one says? Blue crystal test number 17. Final results verified. A number of lightning conductors needed to power cable number 1 and definitively disrupt molecular composition of sample equals 3. Still testing to find two remaining increments. Okay, more uh, testing to disrupt the molecular composition of something, in this case blue crystal. Must be another crystal found in this age. But still no idea what this actually means. I'll take a picture of it. And... Move on. There's another windpipe here. Leading uh, further down. We can go down it, however... Um, let's finish looking around uh, this place first. Find another desk here. More lengths of wire and some uh, lights made from this uh, phosphorescent green crystal. And some of these uh, canisters of uh, liquid as well that we saw, the same liquid that we saw being extracted from the plant in the garden. 
still don't really know what that's supposed to refer to. Some samples of uh, minerals. I guess rock, and, uh, the white crystal, blue crystal, and some other crystal. And some more nodes. Notes, yes. <laughs> Even made a chair. Let's see. Nera, stronger than any other substance. We'll need all the power keyboard can take. Will even that be enough? If I distribute it across all three. Okay, so here he's talking about Nera. And this is one of the chess pieces. And in fact, it's one of the chess pieces we saw uh, was missing. Because the knight we saw lying near the chess, uh, chess board was not one of the Nara pieces, but one that Sears made himself. So he seems to have been using the, the Nara knight piece to do these experiments. Apparently, Nara needs maximum power for whatever it is he's trying to do. Another note over here. Every partially successful rock test suggests 20 units of power total. No more, no less. But in what combination? Must find way of dividing more accurately across three cables. We see a drawing of these three cables. Sirius has numbered them using Roman numerals, interestingly enough. I think that's the first time we've ever seen those uh, in, uh, in Mist. Um, let's take a picture. Oh, I didn't take a picture of the other one. So we'll do that now. And on this side is also a hatch in the desk. And beneath it are more notes. I'm gonna move this uh, little gear out of the way. Blue cr crystal test results conclusive. Need to supply keyboard with total electricity gathered in garden and docking station only to disrupt these samples. Okay. So there's d uh, definitely wanted to disrupt uh, all these kinds of minerals. For what purpose we don't know. Strong earthquake-like tremors in lap when two of harmonics listed in musical charts were played. Could I be close to finding usable frequency? Lap mostly rock. Okay. Well, as long as we don't find this uh, keyboard he's talking about with the cables, uh, we don't really know what to do with any of this information, but... There's another crystal mounted in a windpipe over on this side. But it seems like it has been destroyed, maybe by those earthquake-like tremors uh, he mentioned with the rock tests. Commencing rock test number 29. Yes, this should be it. This should be the one. That does sound like he destroyed this thing by one of these uh, molecular disruption tests. And I want you to count with me. This thing has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sides. That's uh, going to be important. You might think that you need to uh, write down the uh, 
the white, uh, the position of the white marking on the metal strip because you can only see it in the memory and you can't take photographs of the memories. That's not actually true. So if we look behind us there, the metal strip is embedded in the side of Cirrus's bed and we can see that the uh, white indicator is in fact one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's on the seventh position. So let's take a picture of that as well. And that pretty much finishes what we can do here. So we're gonna go down that windpipe in the next video.